Roslyn Akluk was born in Panitok, Nunavut, in the Canadian Arctic. In 2012, she wrote and directed her first film, the live action and puppetry short, The Owl and the Lemming, which won Best Animation at the 2016 American Indian Film Festival. Rosalind joins us from her home in Iqaluit to share her latest story, The Little Moor and the Moon. Hi, my name is Rosalind Akulutruk. Um, <clears throat> I'm the author of Little Moor and the Moon. I'm going to be reading my book called The Little Moor and the Moon. In the fall, Little Moor and his friends were playing baseball after school. He enjoyed playing outside with friends during this time of the year. But it was also the time of the year when the daylight didn't last very long. Little Moa was afraid of the moon. Whenever he looked at the moon, he saw a face. The face looked like it was giving him half a smile, and that scared him. I can't play too long. I have to go home before it gets dark, Little Moa said to his friends. He batted one last time, then he told his friends that he had to go. He suggested <clears throat> to play again tomorrow after school. Little Moa looked up at the sky. He noticed that it was shade darker than the last time he had looked up. On his way home, Little Moa saw his other friends playing tag. It looked like they were having a lot of fun. Hey Moa, you are missing a fun game of tag. Want to join us? One of his friends called. Little Moa looked up at the sky. It was getting a little bit darker, but he decided he didn't need to rush home just yet. Little Moa started playing tag with his friends. His friends were right. This game of tag was so much fun that Little Moa lost track of time. When Little Moa finally looked up at the sky, he realized that it was getting much darker. So he told his friends he had to go home. On his way home, Little Moa saw his cousin feeding his father's sled dogs. His cousin asked him to help him feed the dogs. There were 10 dogs and they had to make sure each dog had about the same amount of food. Little Moa agreed to help his cousin. Little Moa enjoyed helping out whenever he got a chance. It made him feel good, but it was getting late. Little Moa looked up at the sky once again and noticed that it was finally dark. The moon had come out, but the clouds were covering some parts of the sky, so he could only see the faint glow of the moon behind the clouds. Little Moa ran inside his cousin's house without finishing with the dogs, worried that the clouds would move and the moon would come into view. He watched the sky through the window of the house. I like winter, but I don't like that it gets dark so early in the day, Moa told his uncle. What are you looking at, Uyuk? asked his uncle. I'm waiting for the face in the moon to be covered by clouds so I can run home, replied little Moa. The face in the moon? his uncle asked. Yes, I see a face when I look at the moon, and that scares me, little Moa replied. Eventually, little Moa saw a big cloud move to cover the moon completely. This was his chance. He rushed out his uncle's house and ran as fast as he could towards his own house. As he ran, he stumbled on some soft snow and struggled to keep going. Little Moa used all his strength to rush through the soft snow. He finally made it to his house. He took off all of his winter clothes, out of breath. His parents greeted him and asked why he sounded out of breath. I ran home because I didn't want to be outside at the same time as the moon, Little Moa told his mother. Why would you be worried about the moon, Moa? It is very far away from Earth and can't hurt you, Little Moa's mother said with a smile. I'm scared of the moon because it has a face. It is always looking right at me with a strange half smile, explained Little Moa. Little Moa's mother gave him a big hug. The moon doesn't have a face, she told him. It only looks like it does. It's just a big rock with bumps and shadows on the surface. Little Moa looked out the window at the moon. Maybe the smile he saw could just be a shadow, but he still didn't like it. Even if it's far away, thought Little Moa, I'm glad I beat the moon home this time. I hope you enjoyed that story. Bye. 
why not upload your writings, your videos, and your ideas to the Creativity Club on the Ellen Sales website. Thank you for joining us. See you again.